Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we are doing a special topic. It is about what did you lose all or almost all of your life and are now getting back. And to do this reading we are going to be picking three piles together. So let's see what energies are present today. One, two, and three. Right, so let's see what your piles are. For pile number one, you have the chameleon. For pile number two, you have hidden paths. And for pile number three, you have cold moon. If you prefer to pick by crystals, with crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the beautiful Amazonite. And this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number two, you have the blue dot jasper, and this is what your crystal looks like. And for pile number three, you have the green grass jasper. And this is what your crystal looks like. So take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to. And this or these will be your reading today. Please feel free to check out more than one pile. Perhaps you will realize in today's reading that there are more than one thing that perhaps weren't there and are now about to show up in your life. And like I always say, whether you're drawn to just one pile, several, or maybe all, trust your intuition. It is the magic that always guides you and leads you to the right readings and once you're ready please head down to the description box click on your timestamps and i will see you in your readings in a moment i'm about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile if this is not your preferred process of picking a pile, please pause the video, take as much time as you need, and then we'll begin your reading. But if this is something that you love, then this section is specifically for you guys. And the way I like to do this is that I shuffle 12 zodiac signs in a case really well before we begin, and I draw four zodiac signs for each pile. Okay. So, let me, whoa, thanks. So, Gemini is in the first pile, obviously. Let me draw three more. For the signs for pile number one are Gemini, Taurus, Pisces, and Aquarius. The signs for pile number two are. Are these four? One, two, three, four. Yes. Are Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, and Cancer. And the signs for pile number three are Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, and Libra. 
So, my dear soul family, these are the signs associated with every pile. Please feel free to choose using your rising sun and moon. I would highly recommend you check the three G's, the big ones, <laughs> but it is all up to you. Once you're ready, please head down to the description box, click on your timestamps, and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one, welcome to your reading. If you were drawn to the Amazonite crystal as well as the chameleon card, then this is your reading. Another way you could have chosen your reading today is through your zodiac signs. And so in that case, the zodiac signs for this pile are Gemini, Pisces, Taurus, and Aquarius. Welcome to your reading, guys. Today, we're taking a look at an important topic that I felt like I channeled it, it I channeled it while I was sitting down and thinking of the next topic and it came to me it hit me and that is what did you lose almost all your life and you are now getting back so to do this reading these are the oracle cards that we will be using along with this tiny chakra deck as well let me first, whoa, that jumped out. You've got two. <laughs> You've got a lot of Oracle cards here today. All right, let's pull out one chakra card. I believe that's the one. And let's put it to the side. Uh, also, if these are not your zodiac signs, as I always say, please don't worry about it. Do note that they are present in the energy of your reading because they will be matching the cards and the reading itself. Okay, so let's take one of these here. You have Jupiter in Aquarius with innovation. Oh, sorry. There we go. Right? Could it be reinventing yourself or something? Too early, too early. And I don't know how that fits into your reading, but I just got like hit with it reinventing yourself i don't know why how we'll, we'll wait and see you have the witch experimentation rebellion wow this is getting deeper and deeper very cool okay you have oh speaking like remember when i told you the energies of the reading you have aquarius here and you have aquarius so that's what i mean by they generally match the energy, like everything that happens in your pile. So you have the sun in Sagittarius with enthusiasm. Okay. Can't wait to find out what that is. Very curious. And you have my home is my castle. Actually, this makes a lot of sense now. Thank you, card. <laughs> okay, I think I'm starting to get what's going on here. You have, I sense spiritual growth with a balanced crown chakra card, right? And let's check out your remaining cards. So you have the lover. Hmm. And we'll place this one here. You have the flame. Wow, okay. So something is definitely igniting within you, which, which, are, which is causing a lot of changes in your outside world. So that's, we're getting an answer to why you're getting it back now. Okay. And that's of course igniting due to a lot of spiritual gro growth that you have done. Okay. So what did pile number one uh, lose all or almost all their lives, please, and are now getting back? I feel this one, so I'm going to pick it up. This one as well. Right. Let's pull this one out as well as this one. And finally, 
this one. I said finally, but I am feeling this one as well. Right. So let's see what your cards are. You have the Seven of Swords. Look at that. This is mind blowing. Look at that. Something was taken from your life, but you're now getting it back. And look at the Minoan text. It says greater, bigger. So although you lost something huge in your life, no one can take that from you for sure. But you're now getting something even greater and bigger. Okay. You have the nine of pentacles. Wow. <laughs> you have the um, queen of pentacles with I embody and something that I picked up here as well with the spiritual growth. Yeah, you have the queen of cups again with another I embody. You have changed a lot. That keeps, keeps coming up. You have the page of cups. I think we can place the page of cups there. And it's interesting that they're coming together as I want to save space. <laughs> okay. You have the knight of cups. Page, knight, and queen of cups. Wow. This is talking about, first and foremost, how you are changing and how everything around you is changing. Another court card. You have the page of swords. Oh my god. <laughs> and the knight of pentacles. Oh, I get it. Thank you. Thank you for all of these court cards. You, okay, guys, I get what this is all about. Like, I picked it up here, but I get it. Look, I'm seeing that with the chameleon, that perhaps all of your life, you never really felt like you fit in somewhere. You, with the Aquarius energy here, Jupiter and Aquarius being expanded in, Aqu in Aquarius, you do, you do come across as someone who's forward thinking, very different from your environment. Uh, also with the witch, always highly spiritual. You It's like you always seemed in any environment that you were in, any, like look at all these houses, perhaps you've been to different environments. You've always felt like you didn't fit in. You've, the, with the chameleon, you've tried to adapt, conform, but really you never sensed that you fit in. And I really feel that this, was ha this has been designed to happen for a reason, to create spiritual growth. You're, you're highly psychic, obviously, with the witch, and you came here as a soul very enthusiastic about perhaps like taking a huge leap in your spiritual growth in this lifetime, at least. But it doesn't mean that you were meant to not fit in. Now, seeing all of these court cards, I really feel like what was taken from you or what you lost all or almost all your life is loving connections with people, uh, also with the flame, perhaps even like having... A, 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 a romantic connection with the one with the flame here and feeling home somewhere that really comes across in your reading and I see that you have always felt like this has been greatly taken away from you it's like you with the hands reaching out you're trying to get it and it's just not happening and with the two I embody, with the two queens, this greatly led to a huge transformation from your side. In fact, it's not a surprise that you have the nine of pentacles because this shows that this was a great blessing for you, although you definitely never saw it that way. And you can see with the two hands here, it's a cycle. You lost it, but you're going to get it. You lost it, but you're going to get it. The cycle is coming. And next in your life, your world is going to be filled with so many people, but all of the cups, I was like cups, cups, cups. 
so many loving people, especially with the youth of Labrises, which is the page of swords, they are going to be people who you will, who are going to be very enthusiastic, who you will e love exploring things with. It could be places, ideas, books, uh, hobbies. Yeah, people who have the same interests as you do. And it does seem like you will be going out a lot because it has outdoor as the Minoan text in the Knight of Pentacles. This might mean that coming next is a stable person who you will be going out with uh, since we saw the flame here. It doesn't have to be a, a, a romantic connection because some of you could already be in a relationship or you're not interested at all. In that case, you might be hanging out a lot with a lot of people. Um, and your reading here truly shows the amount of spiritual growth that you have been um, doing. It changed your very being, my dear pile number one. You probably already know this with the two I embodies here. You've healed because the queens are healing. and uh, You've healed so much, you've grown so much, and you've become very stable and balanced. Does it mean that there isn't much to go. Everyone has uh, more to go. But you've definitely healed and balanced a lot. And it seems like the universe is now giving you back what you weren't given access to. Perhaps because maybe part of your spiritual growth, you didn't want people and love to prevent you from seeing or looking within. Speaking of which, I really want to check out these two cards for you. So you have the Knight of Pentacles with I emote. Uh, and you have the Ten of Pentacles with the word better. You, you keep getting that word with the Minoan text better. There. So greater, bigger, better. Ooh. <laughs> now this time... It does look like you're going to be very happy in the next phase of your life. Ten of Pentacles is like having everything, including people, including family. So here we see a person who has grown so much. And instead of having trouble, perhaps with people, you are now in charge of yourself. Uh, on Because the Minoan text says here on top, in charge. So... I see that you've built a lot of stability. You know how to take things slow with the Knight of Pentacles. You're not reactive. You're not overly emotional. You don't have pain that would cause a lot of triggers. You seem to be stable, settled as this person is sitting down. And expect in the next phase of your life to be, to find kindred spirits and to feel home. Do you see how this figure is holding a home? Maybe you've been to so many places, but it's the first time in which you're really going to truly feel home. You feel home, settled, happy, calm. And that's the biggest card here. Shows that you will be experiencing a lot of love moving forward. And it's going to come in different ways. Definitely seeing a going out. So you going out with a special person, a new flame starting to form. I see you have a lot, a lot of love between you and people. And this warmth, the warmth of feeling home and the sense of belonging to a community or a place. That's why I felt from the very beginning, when I said you're re-innovating yourself or something, that's why you've grown a lot. Yeah, you've, you're now free from the things that used to weigh you down or bring you down with all of the feathers and, and the wings here. You're ready to fly, you're free, you're taking off. And this coming period of your life, not only are you going to experience love as mentioned, but you're going to be so excited. Do you see the heart eyes here? That's so sweet. <laughs> you're going to feel loved. You're going to love so many people back. And you're going to feel blessed about being so excited about life. You're truly connected uh, from the heart with so many people. There are so many diff different types of people entering in your life. Um, I can see people who are offering love and help. Um, 
a loving community. I see exciting people who you will do a lot of activities with. And of course, someone who you will be taking something, building something special with very slowly but surely. A lot of passion and love happening here. So this can indicate that what's happening next as well. I, I'm, I'm guessing. But what's happening next is you might even be moving homes, moving places, moving locations. So you could expect that to happen as part of your taking process next. Especially that I see the wings and this figure does look like it's flying. Looks like a parachute with using their scarf to fly. <laughs> so yeah, I, I feel like some of you are going to be flying, moving to another location or place, meeting so many people. I see you very happy moving forward. You have no idea. I wish you can sense the energy that I'm sensing for you. Or perhaps you really are listening and you can feel it. Um, I also do see that coming up next in your life is how you're reinventing yourself or how you are presenting yourself. I see you... First of all, taking off that mask, that dark mask, and seeing the world in a different light. And I do see that it is having an effect on how you present yourself. I see that you will find yourself to be moving in a different way. You will find yourself to be carrying yourself in a different way. Yeah, that's the type of exact change that I see for you how you move, how you carry yourself, how, how confident you are. So you're becoming much more confident. Your head is up high. And also, you have a lot of confidence in your ability to do things. Mm. And most importantly, my dear, you're no longer going to be doing things to fit in, I think. You're going to find that the uniqueness within you, perhaps it's something that used to, you used to hide or be ashamed of. Now you will realize that it was always a unique trait in disguise. And so something that you used to hide will be the very thing that people stare at and go, wow, admire about you. And you will even... Um, Start thinking back, how did I hide something so good like that all my life? And I think your answer would be conformity, as the card was saying. Maybe you were trying to, as you were trying to conform, since you didn't fit in with these people or these communities, to imitate, which was part of the adaptability. But it... Did it allowed you to miss or it rather caused you to miss what was most prominent about you. And maybe it wasn't around because it was unique to you. And again, just like every beautiful thing that is unique, not everyone has it. And once somebody has it, everyone's like, everyone's in awe. So here I do see that you will finally let out a characteristic of you or a trait of you or something that only the people around you could see out and it, it it will show you just how magnetic it was and how you never let it out with the witch here it's so magical so magnetic and it's going to make people like have heart eyes uh, over you sorry there we go and it's part of your spiritual growth of having confidence and self-love and um, belief in oneself. I think you've accepted a part in you. It's healed. It's no longer affecting you. You feel stable. And now that you feel stable, I see. Now that you feel stable and grounded and healed, that trait is coming out, out in a healthy way. Ah, that trait is coming out in a healthy way. Showing its true beauty and true potential. You will have a lot of people looking at you with heart eyes from now for the rest of your life. You have no idea how you're going to change into something so 
beautiful, majestic, and magnetic. What a reading. My dear pile number one, get ready to see your whole environment changing as a result of the spiritual growth and balance that you had, have been working towards. This is exactly what I see for you on what did you lose almost all your life and now getting back. I truly hope you've enjoyed your reading. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please don't forget to check out my productivity e-cookbook. It has 210 recipes that are healthy, delicious, and are cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you. And that was the whole idea uh, about this e-cookbook. This is why I was very passionate about, uh, about it. And for this reason, I did partner with a nutritionist that I really love and believe in to be able to bring out this e-cookbook for you guys. And if you're vegan, don't worry, I got you. There is a full vegan version. If not, you can even make use of both ebooks. They're both delicious. There are no duplicate recipes. And this way you'll have a plethora of healthy and delicious meals to choose from, maybe even for the rest of your life. And if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find the link to it down in the description box. There's also an audiobook if you love listening. Oh, no, 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 there's no audiobook. I just got used to say it with the productivity handbook. <laughs> so yeah, you might want to check out the productivity handbook as well. It's such a cool book. And my dear pile um, number one, thank you so much for tuning in. I know you will love this ebook and I wish you the best of life uh, that's coming in for you and this feeling of home that you will experience next. All the best of luck with that and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two, welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful blue dot jasper. I feel this one, so I'm gonna take it. And your card is the hidden paths. And if you've chosen your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this reading are Leo, Cancer, Virgo, and Capricorn. If these are not your signs, please don't worry about it. Do note that they are present in your reading because their energies match the energies of your reading itself, just like the cards, your crystal, and everything that happens during your reading. Okay, so these are the oracle cards that we will be using, and today we're taking a look at a, a special topic. We're taking a look at what did you lose all or almost all of your life and are now getting back. So very excited to see what that is for you, my dear pile number two. Let's put this to the side and take a look at your oracle cards first. So I really feel drawn to this one. Let's take that first. Mm, I'm gonna keep it here. So you have no rain today. How awesome is that? The keywords are on your main card are awareness, mindfulness, and self-mastery. And I do see you walking into some sort of vortex. It's like you've been through a lot of hardships all your life and you're right on your way to experiencing a whole new world. So that type of energy, by the way, of going into a vortex, like it's literally been drawn on the cards and this idea has been appearing in your readings quite recently, I've noticed, the last month specifically. So let's see what this is about. You have Saturn in Virgo with isolation. Okay. You were on a journey on your own, trying to figure out things on your own. Okay. And you have Mars in Scorpio with revenge. Wow. With revenge, I really feel like you're finally reaping the benefits and you're finally feeling better after a long journey of hardships so that's what i feel with the revenge here you have the poet relationships vulnerability and 
you have an overactive root chakra card with I am being greedy. And I honestly feel with this card that you'll be having, you'll have so much more than you can think. It's like with greedy, there is abundance in what's to come in. So let's explore what this reading is about and get the full picture, detailed information using your tarot cards. So my dear pile number two, what did you lose almost all of your life and are now getting back? So let's check out your cards. This one is going to be significant. Wow, you have the three of cups. How interesting. This aspect, at least with relationships and the three of cups, is very close to pile number one. So if you were drawn to pile number one, I highly recommend it. Okay, you have the page of swords, the five of cups, Hmm. You have been greatly disappointed over and over in, in your life in so many aspects. One of them is definitely connections and relationships. Hmm. You have the Ace of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. Hmm. Look at that. Hmm. Mm, seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, that does say a lot, okay. The Four of Cups, mm. Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, King of Cups, and you have the Four of Wands. So... What do we have here? The death card. A huge transformation is happening in your life right now. That is absolutely confirmed. You are going to have with the vortex and the death card here. Yeah, a shift of reality going on. Because what I see here for you is a lot of struggles and hardships. And when we talk about what was taken from your life, pile number two, it looks like so much has been taken from your life. You've been disappointed over and over, but there's something awesome that I see about you. Page of Swords came up first, and you can see here, you can clearly see, although you've been greatly disappointed, you're a strong character with the Page of Swords. Nothing fully ever beat you down. So were you like, did you lack things? Like you wanted a lot of things to happen in your life? You lacked so many things. You are the character who tried to go and get it. You've been greatly disappointed with people, yet it didn't, it didn't hit who you are. You, you're still up on your feet, moving strong. I love that about you. But you can see that mentally with the Ace of Swords, things have been taking a toll on you. Although you've been standing strong all your life, lately because you've been carrying so much, you can see with the Seven of Pentacles standing up strong for so long, uh, over and over and over and over, did take a toll on you. And I do see that you are at the phase of your life, still standing strong, don't get me wrong, but really tired. Uh, you have endured a lot. And I do see with all, these, all this aloneness is that you're not the type of person really to tell others, it seems, about how you feel. You've been carrying it on your own, you know? You've been really keeping it to yourself. And despite all of that, look at you all over your reading. <laughs> Love your energy. With the Nine of Wands, you're standing there strong. You're not the type of person who just allows life to take their lives away from them. You, you've you got something, although you're, you're, it's mentally taxing you, but there's something that in the way you think that is just so right. Life just doesn't beat you down. And despite all of this, um, you're, you're the type of character who's like, it's okay, we'll get back up, we'll deal with it, uh, I got this. 
Having said all of that, you have gone through a lot of difficulties. You've gone through a lot of betrayals. So that's another part that I didn't see that I'm seeing now. You have gone through a lot of betrayals and disappointments from people, situations, life, even the things that you wanted to create. That happened a lot. And you had to stand there strong for yourself confidently. I also see that you you were trying hard to make something grow, maybe even make a, grow your wealth, and it's been stressing you a little bit. Maybe it was go growing extremely slowly for you with the Seven of Pentacles. Yet again, what I love about you with the King of Cups is that you, there's a lot of grace, pride to you, and... It never got to you. Yes, it's something that you wanted, but you live with so much self-respect and, and grace and power and love. Love, love. I can't tell you how much I admire your character, my dear pile number two. Right, so let's now take it to what's going on. A huge transformation with the death card, as you can see. The way you saw your life before, bye-bye, my dear pile number two. That's ending. You have no idea. You're getting into a vortex and you'll be seeing a totally different life. It is a period of your life where you'll be celebrating all the beautiful things in life. Great experiences, great food, great people, having fun. It's almost like you'll feel younger again or you'll feel alive rather is the exact word I'm looking younger and more alive. You'll feel like life is giving you so much and because you've, you haven't had that much before and it's such a dichotomy in energy from the lack before, you're going to feel with I'm being greedy, you're almost going to feel guilty <laughs> sometimes for getting all of this um, wealth, health, people, and great opportunities and experiences and fun and the great taste of life. So we see with the four of wands, a new phase of your life that you will be celebrating. Both are cards of great celebration, the four of wands and the three of cups. You'll be really celebrating your life, enjoying every piece of it. You felt that life almost isolated you from the things that you always wanted. And I see here with the hidden path, life is now, as we're speaking, taking you to a new form of life that will flabbergast you at how parallel worlds can exist, where how yours today looks like and how people can be living at the same time a totally different life. And you will be moving from this life to theirs or to the other world. This is a world where you're not going to be going through hardships any longer in any way. Uh, of course, we all have challenges. Don't get me wrong. But really, you'll look back and smile at the little things that could bother you and think, my God, uh, that shouldn't be bothering me at all because that's nothing to what I used to go through. And you'll be, you'll laugh, shrug it and move. <laughs> and you do seem across as this powerful person. So with this raw strength, it's like natural to you. So moving into this other world with no rain today, you know, the little things that happen are not gonna be, it's like, pff, that's easy. Oh my God, is that what you guys here complain about? <laughs> That type of energy. In fact, your life is going to feel so good and so magical. It's almost, you're going, not almost, this is the card. You're going to enjoy it from the heart. The way your heart would flutter as you hear a poem, a beautiful po poem, or the words of a beautiful song. It's, you're going to be waking up every day looking at your view and going, wow, is this my life? Speaking to amazing people and that you love and going, wow, is this my life? 
going out to eat in places you haven't been to, going out to experience things you haven't experienced before. And every step you are going to take, you're going to be in awe, not believing how this has become your life and how it's so parallel, uh, uh, sorry, so different totally to the life you were in, yet you never knew how they coexisted together. You're moving from one world into the next, a beautiful world, and you have no idea how it is different inside out. And since this is a reading about what did you lose all or almost all your life, this is uh, this means that you've been through this energy for almost or all of your life and see that vortex going in and living the other life is really going to flabbergast you and you're going to be living through it gracefully because the first part of your life taught you how to be resilient and strong and so you're absolutely going to enjoy that next life because you might see other people which you will see a lot of um, complaining about something here and there to you, nothing ruins your day. Because if it didn't ruin it that much before, imagine now. <laughs> Pile number two, I have so much respect and love for you. I'm wishing you the best of luck in this next phase of your life. May you always feel abundant and prosperous. This is what I see in terms of what did you lose almost all of your life and now are getting back. I truly hope you've enjoyed your reading and if you have, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload and please don't forget to check out my productivity e-cookbook. It has 210 recipes that are healthy, delicious and are cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you. That was the whole idea behind this e-cookbook. I was very passionate about bringing it out and this is why. I've partnered with a nutritionist that I personally really love and believe in to be able to finally bring out this e-cookbook for you guys. <laughs> and if you're vegan, by the way, I got you. There is a vegan version. If not, you can make use of both e-books. There are no duplicate recipes. This way you'll have a plethora of healthy and delicious meals to choose from, maybe even for the rest of your lives. And if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to it down in the description box. There's also an audiobook if you love listening to your books. And my dear pile number two, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Guys, there's no audiobook for the e-cookbook. E this is the second time I made this mistake. <laughs> Sorry about that. Love you. I'll catch you in the next reading. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Uh, you were drawn to the beautiful green grass jasper as well as the cold moon. I feel like these three are popping out. But if you chose your reading using your zodiac signs, then in that case, your signs are Libra, okay, S uh, Sagittarius, Aries, and Scorpio. Welcome to your reading, guys. If these are not your zodiac signs, as I always say, please don't worry about it. Know that they are present in the reading because their energies will be matching the energies of the cards and the reading itself, just like everything else that is present in your reading, including your crystals and the cards and the, the sounds and the everything that happens within your reading. So what am I seeing? I'm seeing actually four cards. One, two... And these two, three and four. Are you trying to come out as well? Let's take it. Okay, so let's put these here. And let's take a look at your cards. So you have a balanced crown chakra card with I sense the connection between us all. Wow, and there's an arrow. All right. You have an underactive solar plexus card with I do have low self-esteem uh, right now. Let's see what this means in your reading. It, by the way, it doesn't have to be talking about you at all. 
but we'll see how it ends up. You have an underactive sacral chakra with I feel a lack of passion. And the final two chakra cards are an underactive heart chakra with I love but I lack empathy. Let's keep it right there. And you have an underactive sacral chakra with I feel a lack of creativity. Okay, I think I'm starting to pick up what this is. You also have um, the moon in Pisces with empathy. My goodness, I lack empathy. Empathy is definitely a big thing here. I'm not sure how yet, but I think I picked up. Oh, I, th I might actually have an idea. You have Jupiter in Sagittarius with principle. I get it. And you have Mercury in Capricorn with organize, organization. Okay. And this card popped out. It says, Morning Jew Girl. Mm -hmm. You have the puppeteer, explanations, apologies. Oh, we didn't even pick up a card here. You have a lot of Oracle cards. And you have the sleeper, cause and effect, clarity. Or we're trusting the process. We can, in fact, put one of these circular ones right here. Okay. So let's pull one out for you. I think it's this one. So you have the underworld. How interesting. Okay. Right. Now let's pull out your tarot cards to get the exact picture, full picture and in detail of what it is that you lost or did you lose almost all of your life and are now getting back. So what did pile number three lose almost all of their life and are now getting back, please. Okay, seems like these two as well want to come out. And let's pull these two. Okay. So, your cards are... Wow, the death card, huge transformation. Something that was ending is actually transforming because we have the underworld. Knight of Swords, and it's moving so quickly. So what is that? I think I have kind of an idea here, but let's wait. The Lover's card. Full 2.0, exactly what I felt. Okay, so that's a like re-going at something. The Seven of Wands. Strength card, hmm. Ace of Swords, wow, and the King of Pentacles, I get it. You have two more cards, we'll open them in a moment. But yeah, I think here your reading is talking about your road to great success. I think you, with Morning Dew Girl, at an early age, you were very talented at something. In fact, so talented that I think the connection between us all, everybody around you saw something in you. And with the arrow, which I noticed first, they saw that your future is bright. They saw that you will be moving very quickly towards doing what you love because you're going to be so good at it. You saw it too. You were very uh, excited about it, but it does seem... Like when you started doing it or like when you started actually working towards it or maybe you've been building it, building it actually all your life, not when you started. Morning Dew Girl does suggest you've always been working on it. The weird thing is, it seems like with the Hierophant hat and the bird flying with it, you weren't getting your opp opportunity. Uh, it, it's really weird because... You were meant to receive some sort of honor, but you almost felt like life unfairly took it from you. So for some time, 
with I lack empathy uh, and empathy. I feel lack of creativity. I feel lack of passion. This dichotomy of energy that we're seeing in your reading, I feel like sometimes you were so passionate about it, you knew what to do, but then life you saw would take it from you and you would feel like it was unfair. So that would take away your motivation. And you, what you were waiting to see and what you lacked to see was the success you were looking for that you absolutely deserved. Here, I see with the cold moon, along with stillness, a long, long, long period of your life of nothing moving, nothing happening, nada, you know, like the, the cold moon is a time when people go introspect. It's not a time of action. So I think at some point you even have given up, especially with the sleeper here. You felt with the cause and effect, like life wasn't giving anything back, nothing was happening, and you slept on it a little bit. And this was some huge disappointment. Maybe you moved on in your life doing regular thing with, things with organization, like maybe getting into the corporate world or doing maybe other jo jobs that didn't speak to your more creative side. And this huge dream died within you, although it's been something that was within you at a very early age. We're seeing now a huge transformation in your life in regard to this area. And you can see the underworld, something that maybe most people haven't seen about, haven't seen about you lately, unless they're very close to you, because it's like buried and hidden. But we see a lot of eyes in this card. People are going to start seeing what's hidden within, because it does look like there is a re, you're re-emerging and reliving this dream again. The amazing thing is that you have, I lack, I love, but I lack empathy. To me, this is saying you love this, but you feel like you don't have people loving your work or empathizing with your work, but here you have empathy. And, and suddenly there, people are all ears. People are all eyes. So this tells me that you will be able to play with people's hearts very soon with what you are creating. See, that is going to begin for you with a choice because the lover's card is a card of choice. And so you'll be choosing out of the blue to, re, to give it a retry. This time with a 2.0, the second try or like uh, reviving something that died within you, this one is going to be a great hit. In fact, a very strong hit. This time you're so equipped and so determined. Do you see? You're almost killing anything standing in your way with the seven of wands. It's like nothing is standing in my way. Show me what you got. <laughs> you're going to feel good. You're going to be so powerful this time that anything that stands in your way, you're ready to cut cords. You're ready to cut wands. You're ready to fight it. You're going to be so strong and you're going to move ahead so fast. You have no idea. So in this next phase of your life, you're going to have a lot of people have their eyes on you. You're going to be waking up early or maybe giving it more time or extra time during uh, since morning is a time. It could be translating to you giving it more time to nurture it and to put effort in it. This time, it's a blessed new beginning with the Ace of Swords because it is leading to great success. And if this is something that um, is relating to your work, like you want to get money for it, then it is going to result in a lot of wealth for you. We can definitely see that in your reading. You're jump-starting something and it's moving quickly. It's like right after you. You're running and it's right behind your tail, that success. It is going to be so loyal to you. 
this time uh, this time around i do feel with the i do have low self esteem right now that you've tried maybe so many times and although you're so gifted and because of this long silence you might have started to have doubts about your talent and you lost passion although something within you knows very well that you are very talented at this and that you can make an explosion and by the way this explosion is definitely going to be your hands are going to be creating a huge explosion that will blow people's minds uh, as you bring out that raw great talent out it's coming out of nowhere and once people set their eyes on it they're going to be in awe let's see what your other two cards have so you have the two of wands see unlocking something and although it is locked your guides are telling you believe it or not the key is within your hands one is locked but the the key the other hand has the key to open it the door is has already been opened now it's time to unlock yourself and unlock these limiting beliefs that could have been formed in the past when things were very still. And you have the Six of Cups. I don't know why I heard uh, put on your best attire on. Mm, it's, it's a message there out there. I heard it for a reason. But with the Six of Cups, this shows um, something that's this time standing the test of time growing from small to very big six of cups deals with timing showing to me that once you unlock this it's not the sort of success that's going to stay there for a little bit of time you can depend on this type of success to perhaps maybe give you a name or something that will be there with you until you grow old something that you will be remembered with generation after generation remembering and looking at the work and appreciating and learning from the work that you have done and so my dear pile number three you may have been kept away a lot of your life from achieving this great success but look at that your work will be remembered forever, even after one day you have passed on to the other side. And so for this reason, I do see that your guides are definitely present with, a, with guidance in your reading specifically. You're the only, I believe, pile that got guidance? I think, yeah, I think you're the only pile that got guidance. Yes, you are. So here it does say, for some reason, wake up early and organize yourself. Wake up early, perhaps write down what it is that you want to do during the day or maybe wake up early and organize that new area of your life. Maybe uh, or allocate a specific time in your day to, to work on that. Make that choice. Relaunch again. Start again. This time you're going to be very lucky. It's like all eyes are waiting to be on you. Uh, you're waiting to be heard, seen. So get yourself organized is the main message because this is the time of your life that is meant to happen. And that's why you have the key and the lock. The key to unlocking this is within your hands. And now it's going to work. Um, it's going to start happening for you. I'm, I'm sure you're thinking in that case, because I thought it as well as I was doing your reading, like why is the time now why wasn't it before right so in case you're asking this question why was it like so silent before and that now it's going to work let's see for pile number three why was it silence before and that it's going to work now please not this one this one So you have temperance, 
four of wands, five of wands. Interesting when you ask questions. <laughs> Ace of cups and the knight of pentacles. Look, pile number three. I do see here with the five of wands that if you had done it previously, you would have had to deal with so many challenges that had you known about, you would not have preferred to get into. Maybe, maybe there were, you were going to be dealing with the wrong people who could have taken it from you forever. Maybe you were meant to go with the five of wands through challenges that would teach you some significant things that you would need at this phase of your life. So five of wands shows either you weren't ready to go through these challenges previously or that you would have faced challenges that you wouldn't have liked with maybe the same people in the field or something. Or the third aspect of the five of wands is that you were meant to learn significant things. You weren't ready to hold that big cup because you are meant for great success and you know it. That type of energy, someone being born with a skill like that, you must know it. You must know you were built for greatness. It is what it is. You, you were given this gift for a reason. And so to be able to hold a big cup like that, I believe you were meant to be ready for it. And um, this is why there is divine time. It's like with the temperance card, energies and everything was coming together everything was coming together and the now now the ground is ready to be uh for now the ground is fertile ready for you to put the seeds one with the four of wands one phase has finished it's the phase of preparation or the phase of the ground being prepared for you and now it is ready for you to slowly come in, hold your seed and plant it, my dear pile um, number three. I do see with the Knight of Pentacles that you will be planting the seed in the beginning. It might take time to grow and by time, I don't mean a lot of time because we did see that it's like uh, the success is following your tail. So here, this means you're going to slowly build some things some things in the beginning build momentum perhaps this is talking about rebuilding your portfolio portfolio uh, creating something first so yeah it's first going to be slowly developed it's at its early stages and then it's going to boom so make that type of preparation needed once you're ready with the preparation you will be surprised at how everyone stops and stares at what you have to present and my dear pile number three, this is exactly what I see for you on the reading of what did you lose almost all your life and you are now getting back. My heart is with you. Please make that choice that you're being invited to make because now is the time for your success. This was your reading, my dear pile number three. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please don't forget to check out my productivity e-cookbook. It has 210 recipes that are healthy, delicious, and are cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you. And in a time where you're going to be so busy like that, getting the chance to eat healthy food and to be able to cook it really quickly, I believe will be a great help for you. I did uh, partner with a nutritionist that I really love and believe in to be able to bring out to you 210 recipes that are healthy, delicious, and are cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day, like I explained, to um, for you to do whatever it is that is important for you. And if you're vegan, there is a vegan version. If not, you can even make use of both ebooks. There are no duplicate recipes. And this way you'll have a plethora of healthy and delicious meals to choose from, maybe even for the rest of your life. You know, 
click on the recipe that you want to see it'll take you straight to that page the the steps are so easy to follow whether you're a good cook or not the ingredients are clear the picture of, and what to expect is clear and yeah it's just going to be an easy way to eat something healthy delicious that you're excited about and cook it in minutes and if you're interested in checking it out you'll find the link to it down in the description box and my dear pile number three, this was your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next reading.